I'd throw myself under a lorry, declare undying love for Nadine Dorries before they'd get my vote. They could frack my back garden, kneel me down in front of Johnson's hard-on. I'd consider the job in front of me before putting my cross in their grubby little box, begging your pardon. I prefer leaders with honesty who deliver on promises simple as that, so in fact the polar opposite of the narcissist Etonian twat. Johnson had all the gravitas of a game show host. As for his idiot replacement, she was a bargain basement imitation of Thatcher's ghost, I reckon they were cooking up Maggie replicants at Tory research and development and Truss was an early prototype that went tragically wrong but escaped the lab on a dark stormy night and the party had to play along. For a while all was fine, she was true blue through and through but then she went full Frankenstein and all they could do was look on in horror at PMQs. But she got your vote somehow so I'm a little confused, I mean wow. Perhaps the man of colour was a step too far for the blue-rinsed faithful of Gloucestershire and Leicestershire. Take away the race card and all that dementia, she'd have probably lost to a three-legged goat. But she was never meant to last, and with the shires sensibly bypassed, Dishy Rishi has his chance to keep their little England dreams afloat. How long till he wakes up wishing they'd voted for that goat? Bury me in a cardboard coffin, but does that make me woke or are you lot getting off on some high-end Tory dope, some kind of Boris Spice? Must be a hell of a smoke, but how about giving it up and making nice? Do what the Tories' kids do, snort ordinary coke. It may not be me that's woke, it could be you that's comatose, part of some mass collective stroke that's affected half the electorate and permanently stolen your vote. They're taking us all for fools, doing what they've done since time immemorial. If you're still confused, here's a quick tutorial. You're unwitting, wide-eyed victims of divide and rule. It's not us. Blame them. It's migrants. It's remainers. It's foreign cheese. It's the unions. It's the aliens. It's Green Party sleaze. It's BLM marches. It's the Marxist element in the arches. It's Benefit Street. It's Marcus Rashford. He's too compassionate. It's Richard Attenborough. He's too fanatical. It's everything on the BBC. And let us not forget those trans-loving, bedwetting, lefty, liberal, Tesla-owning, North London, pronoun-quoting, middle-class, Ryoka-soaked, elitist, fucking woke. As the country grinds to a halt, let's sing it loud and large. It's not our fucking fault. We're just the ones in charge. Hello? Hello, did I wake you? Yes, yes, you've been comatose. No, no, you're not woke. You're waking and the shit you need to know. Time to wake up and smell the Otichino. While you've been putting the cunt in country and the rest of us apparently slagging the flag, they've been taking us all for numpties and shagged a lot of us up the ass. So if you fancy a chat about changing your vote, ooh, you're frothing at the mouth. Just kidding, I was making a joke. Well, slap me down with a Me Too shoulder bag. Does that make me woke? That was. Does that make me woke? I've been Jimmy Livingston. Thanks for listening.